Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a walk up Frederick Street. Now, just in case you're not sure, Frederick Street is the second of the three main grid making streets in the new town of Edinburgh for that main essential sort of block. Uh, if you're not sure uh, or you've not seen my video on the history of the new town, how it was designed and created and everything, I'll leave a link in the corner now so you can go check that one out. But this is it, Frederick Street. We'll take a walk up, starts here at Princess Street, or ends here at Princess Street, depending on which way you're going. Starts here, up to George Street, and down to Queen Street. It's not a big street, but there's actually a lot on this one. Uh, Frederick Street was named after the king at the time's dad. So King George's dad was called Frederick. So that's why it's called Frederick Street. Anyway, let's have a wee wander. So here we go. Starting at the castle. Frederick Street and heading up. So what have we got there? That's a shop. That's just a shop. Cathy Addison's shop. There's a lot of shops on this one. I don't know if there's so much local brands. Definitely a lot of bigger name brands on this one. That's a jeweler's. We did have a look in there when we were looking at wedding rings, but I didn't find anything. If you fancy a bag, then hey, they got the bags. You want a bag? They got bags. I'm not going to keep darting across the street on this one because I will get run over. Shoo. See what I mean? It's, it's, it's a lot of shops on this one. We are kind of just off the main thoroughfare. Oh, look, size. A shoe place right opposite a shoe place. Oh, this is like a turf war and where that guy's standing right now. That's the line, I imagine, at night, at the end of a shift. It's like West Side Story. Who throws a shoe? Honestly. Name the film. Oh, there's another shoe place. Oh, this is just like war here. Shoe next to June, so two shoe places next to each other. And opposite a shoe place. This is like Shoe Central. And that one's called Shoe, so that one's probably got the advantage. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate. Oh, the chocolate place is busy. We are right now on the last sort of weekend Christmas shopping before Christmas. So it does look like it's got a lot. That's fancy chocolates in there. British, British chocolatier, so you know it's fancy because it's called a chocolatier, not a chocolate shop. Looks nice. Across the other side, we've got a little bit of fast food, a little five guys, North Face. You see what I mean? It's all shops, really. Well, let's not detract from the beautiful buildings that are here as well, though. It may be all modern shops, but they are all built into these incredible buildings. And you have that as a backdrop. There's my castle. See that? That's my castle. So, oh no, see, this is like a war, this place. There's shoe places beside each other, and now there's two chocolate places beside each other. Thornton's and Hotel Chocolat. This is, oh, this is a proper war here. This place is just a, a battleground at night time. Now, the boozy cow. I do remember us looking at that from a different entrance when we were doing our walk along Rose Street a while ago. Remember that? Because that's Rose Street just there. We're just about to intersect Rose Street. I like these tables. I like that. That's really cool. Yeah, I know I'm sad, but I'm allowed to be. Let's have a wee look at the menu for the boozy cow as well. Oh, that looks nice. Nice plenty burgers. Chicks and dogs. That looks lovely. Oh, a nice veg and vegan thing as well. Kirsten would be happy with that. Puds. Everyone likes a good pudding. Again, just reminding you, about a quarter of the way up, ish, you get Rose Street. Rose Street, named after the symbol from England. Again, if you've not seen our walk along Rose Street, I will leave a link to that one as well. This feels like a funny street. I'm generally just showing you shops here today because this section at least this first section is what it is i'd love to say there's something exciting for me to tell you here but it's just you know shops what is going on with look okay optometrist optometrist that's a brave clothes shop in between it, this this seems like the battling street we're, we're renaming frederick street the battling street because we've got three shoe places beside each other there two chocolate places beside each other there two Opticians beside each other there. What is going on here today? And look at this Nordic Outdoor and Trespass both outdoor clothing ranges. This is this is just that's it This is competition street. This is battle street right here Because you know 
if you're looking for one thing here, if you find it, guarantee there's going to be another shop where you can haggle and say, oh, they're selling it for a fiver. Oh, all right then, see? This is Battle Street. I've never actually looked before, but it's really, I'm finding that really random that they've got so many similar things right beside each other. I mean, if I was a business, I don't know, is that a good business idea to open right beside, you know, something that's similar to you? I don't know what the crest is. Oh, it's pots. Pots. I don't see another pot shop. That sounds like something completely different. That over there as well. I'm going to take a one over. That looks like the entrance to that fancy restaurant up there. And I don't know what it's called. And I think it's only fair if we take a one over and see what it's called. Ah, aptly named Frederick's. Since we're on Frederick Street, we'll have a look at the menu since we're here. Oh, it's just coffees and wines and drinks. So they've not really got a food menu on there. More of a, a wine list. Oh, the food's on the other side. Clever me, the food's on the other side. Lunch menu. Again, that's kind of standard prices for everywhere, guys. So again, gives you an idea. Right beside Trespass as well, Miller Steakhouse. I have been in here once and it was beautiful. It really was one of the nicest steaks I've ever had. It was for a work thing, but it was lovely. That is the most colourful pot shop I've ever seen. In fairness, I don't know how many pot shops I've ever seen. George Street now, named after King George at the time when this was all being designed. So King George, with his dad's street, Frederick Street, just cut over the top. How rude. And there's Pitt. That was a Prime Minister. There was actually two Pitts, I think, Prime Ministers, so I don't know which one he is. One of them, anyway. Anyway, we're going to cut straight over George Street once again. If you haven't seen our walk along George Street, I will leave a link in the corner. There are lots of links in the corners today. But I suppose we are properly searching this area now. And we will jump over the other side and try not to get run over. Remember to use the zebra crossings, children. Don't just go like me and cross at any area. Do what I say, not what I do. And let other people cross so that it covers you. So that first half, you can see, is shops. And a lot of battling shops. Shops battling for your shopping. Since it's all shops that are very similar to each other. I'm not quite sure how many more times I could say shop in a, in a sentence. Shop. Fat face, so that's more clothes there. I feel this one might be a little bit different. A bit more restaurants and things this side. Okay, second half here, let's have a look. Again, look at all these beautiful buildings. I mean, the Frederick House Hotel there. Look at that, isn't that just lovely? And that's a nationwide, you know, building society. So that's got a nice big building. Look at these, look at those crests. Now, now we're talking, now they're on the second half. Look at these beautiful crests up there. And these people here that are just holding up the building. Thank you guys, that's nice of you. Royal College of Midwives, there you go. If you needed to know, that's where it is. Charlie Miller, I don't know what that is. Oh, it looks like uh, hair stuff. Oh, it's a hairdresser, that's why. A shop of hair stuff. Shop of hair stuff. Hairdressers. Nice little coffee shop there. A lot of places are using these old bikes with things in them. I like that. Etiquette. Tea room, another little tea room. So, a coffee shop and a tea. See? More battling. Coffee and tea. Coffee and tea. Frederick Street is just full of fights now full of fights. That's just the way I'm going to know Frederick Street from now on. The fighting street. Eat and Ravenscroft. That seems to me like it's going to be a fancy shop right there. It looks like it's got tuxedos and ball gowns and things like that. So, you know, somewhere where I will never need to go. Because who's going to invite me anywhere fancy? What we got here? Ah, Cafe Rouge. God, that's a coffee place, a tea room and a cafe all beside each other. However, that actually just, you know, there's a lot of good food in there. I have been in there many moons ago. Little Irish bar down that side. And then Queen Arms down that side. So a couple of nice pubs here if you fancy. I think all those people are having a Christmas party in there. That looks like a Christmas office party going on. Raising the roof at one o'clock in the afternoon. And now we're hitting Thistle Street. I haven't actually done a walk along Thistle Street yet, but to tell you the truth, there's not a massive amount to see. So let's skip that one right now. Another coffee place, Brasserie. All right, okay, I'm getting mixed up on this section now. So we had a coffee house, a tea room, Cafe Rouge, two pubs, 
and now a brasserie. So that's like quite a wide selection of choices for you there. We're getting to more business stuff again now, or just fancy houses. And another, another cafe. What's this one? Please don't tell me it's like a hot chocolate room, because that's the only thing I think we're missing now. Oh, there's no sign for that one. Is that the same thing? No, that's another. Oh, okay. Yes, that's the same thing. Rabble. Please mind your step. What's rabble? What sort of food has rabble got? Sandwiches, lunches. There we go. You can see it's the same kind of prices again. We restaurant right there, up above. And down below, Fingers Piano Bar. Fingers Piano Bar is usually open till late. Again, Fingers Piano Bar is somewhere I used to go when I was younger. And two of my best friends in the entire world, and in my opinion, the best live band in Edinburgh, Bleecker, who you may remember did the Caledonian, sang Caledonian for us when I was telling the story of Caledonian. They play in there a lot. So if you ever fancy going to see one of the best bands in Edinburgh live, that's where you want to go see them. Plus, obviously, it has a lot of, you know, piano acts, because it's a piano bar. They don't play the piano, but they're good. Funny little short video today, just kind of showing you the stuff on Frederick Street. I don't have a lot of history about it, apart from the name, again. And I didn't see any historic plaques this time. Remember last time I did one of these, I found the um, Sir Walter Scott's house? Not this time. But, you can see there's plenty of little restaurants and shops, so worth taking a look for more local cuisine, I suppose. Or maybe not, what's the word I'm looking for? Brand? Is that a brand when it's a restaurant? Yeah, I suppose so. You want more local, you want to support your local restaurants local bars and things like that. So Frederick Street, you can see definitely somewhere you want to take a visit to, to have a seat, have a, have a try of more, and some words not working. If you want to support more local businesses, which I'm gonna always encourage you to do. Very barky little dogs there. But then so are my two. Anyway guys, I think that's about it. Just, like I said, Frederick Street, uh, having a little walk along these streets is always nice. But Frederick Street is not a big street. It is a grid street, for lack of a better description. Just joining Princess Street to George Street and Queen Street, with Thistle Street and Rose Street cutting it as well. But there's actually quite a lot on this one, which I feel compared to uh, Castle Street, which was the first one of these three we did. Not as many sort of shops and things to visit. So. And from now on, you know, it's the battle street because it doesn't seem to be one thing. There's always at least more of one kind of shop in it for such a small kind of street. You think, you know, they would diversify a little bit. But yeah, I think we'll leave it there today, guys. If I don't see you, have a great Christmas. I will see you just before the new year. If you haven't already, please, you know, like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever tried the places on here. If you've tried any of the battling places on here. And... Subscribe if you haven't already. That would be a lovely Christmas gift if you'd subscribe. That's what you get me for Christmas. Subscribe. But, till next time. Bye humans.